Okay, this one, um, if you're struggling to edit your maps and you may be able to do this through a website called MapChart, and the link is in the top left-hand corner of the screen. If you type in mapchart.net in Google, that will come up. Um, to help you do your Scotland colors, um, you could create a map um, using detail provinces, um, country, in fact, yeah, detail provinces, countries underneath the Europe tab. Click on that. And what will come up is a map of the whole of Europe um, and within that, there will be Scotland with some of its local authorities. So what I'm going to get you to do is try and create your Coropleth map with the numbers from some of the local authorities um, onto the map. So we'll see if that loads up and if you're able to do that, if we give it a second, and we'll shut that down. Hopefully that is appearing. So map chart is um, a way of doing this online. Um, and what I'm going to do, I've got lots of information appearing. Um, underneath my map, I have a way of creating a key in a legend. So I'm going to go to zoom mode. Um, zoom in, zoom out. I can do that. Good. Let's go back my map a bit. Let's get Scotland on the map. What they want. Oh. There we go, there's most of Scotland. Um, so I've got where I want. I'll exit the zoom. Okay, and I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page there and I can select colors. And um, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna have a legend title. I'm gonna go population, um, uh, density, or just, I'll just leave it as population. My color one, let's just say we're gonna go for different shades um, completely. And I said that was my zero to 50,000 people. And let's say there's not many people. I can't remember what the numbers are, but let's say the Highlands was one of them. I could click on that and I've got my color and I click any other ones that come in that category. So zero to 50, um, comma, one, two, 3,000 um, people. Okay, within that area. Okay, let's pick another color. Um, and I could go, maybe I'll go for an, a lighter, an orange. And I say, right, let's say someone with a few more people than that is Murray. Okay, Murray Council. Okay, um, and I will click on that and go uh, 51, oh, so, okay, 50,000 and one to, let's say, 100,000 people. Uh, I could probably. And I'm just going to leave it as two colors, but ideally what you'd do is you'd have all the colors you'd need on your map um, and you'd color in the different parts. And you can see most of the local authorities, if not all of them actually, are on this map. Um, so that's actually quite good. And you should be able to produce your map from that. And what you can do, um, country color, you want... Is it there? test this one. I don't think you necessarily need to do this. So we could have the United Kingdom um, and on that, I don't think that's done that. We don't want to color. We don't actually want to do that um, because if we do that, it means we've colored in and we don't want that on our key. So uh, multiple color countries, we don't want that either. Um, and we don't want subdivisions and we don't want to isolate. We want to isolate Uh, UK, isolate. Good. So we've now isolated the United Kingdom. So all the other parts of the map are not even visible. And um, we only want Scotland. And um, we've got our key, we've got our title, um, and our legend should appear in our map. So what we'll do is you click on preview map. And on the top, you have suddenly got your scales up there, and you've got your map, um, and everything is on it. And you can download it as well. Click on download. I think that works. Or you can just screenshot the map that you've got. Okay, so there's my population PNG and you can send that in to me. Um, and what you'll have is your final map, which looks quite cool. Um, and it should have all your different colors and it shows all of Scotland all colored in. And hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, if you need any help with that, you can give me a shout or if it's too complicated, um, you can skip the map chart task um, as an alternative to just coloring the map in. Um, but you can see you've got a scale of what the colors mean and this is a Coropleth map um, if it was complete.